right, so let's talk about voltage. Different parts of the electricity grid operate at different voltages. The reason for this is that high voltages are great at transmitting electricity efficiently, but they're not so great at transmitting to lots of places at once. Low voltages are great for getting small amounts of electricity to lots of places, but are not efficient for transmitting over large distances. So, power grids use both, in different parts of the grid or network. To transmit power from a large power plant to a town, the high voltage network is used. The high voltage power lines are the ones on those huge truss-like frames. Once the electricity arrives in a town, it is stepped down to a lower voltage through a machine called a transformer. This is what happens at an electricity substation and passed to the medium voltage network. It's the medium voltage network which distributes electricity through a town. Finally, to deliver electricity to the final users, the voltage is stepped down again through another transformer. This makes it easier to deliver electricity safely to lots of different places, like all the houses in a town. Of course, with a distributed network which has lots of sources, for example, lots of houses with solar panels, voltage might also need to be stepped up to go from the low voltage network at one house to the medium voltage network to deliver power from one house to others. Basically, high voltages are used where there are not too many connections to make transmission efficient, and low voltages are used where there are lots of connections to make distribution efficient. Remember, if you'd like to know more about grids, microgrids, islands and similar topics, be sure to see our explainer videos on those topics too.